the last thing other than layouts you know the art editing the palettes is of course if we've imported something sonic is, is sonic just going to stand on it uh we're going to grab a chunk i'm going to place it here and you know sonic's going to stand on it well one he's not going to stand on it because this is not where his location at but obviously if we had one where his location was say obviously here we've created a new chunk new block new tiles um completely new and you know we, we load it up we save it we build it sonic falls through the ground and he dies how are we going to go about it well of course these chunks must have some sort of collision and that's what we're going to talk about now we're going to talk about solidity collision uh, you know the collision to stand on the uh, chunks that you, you like walls that you push um, there's solidity in objects but that's code wise that's not um, Sony D wise so that's another thing to note um, of course creating your own solidity so you can um, put different solids and whatnot and what you don't want solid are very 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 useful and a good tip if you press W it comes up with a load of white maybe black black little uh, highlighted blocks um, on top of your chunks on top of your blocks and chunks and you're probably wondering what this represents this represents collision now collision of course as I've explained we know but we've got different different types of collision we have top we have left and right and we have all now if you can probably guess top means if Sonic's standing on it from the top, then obviously he will be standing on it. He won't fall through it. But that means that, say for example, um, if you're a little bit below it and you walk into it, what would be solid, um, it wouldn't be solid from the left and right side, nor would it be from above. So say for example, it's a chunk up the top and you're a chunk on the bottom, you use a spring to go up, and of course you go up and you'll land on top of the, the trunk when you fall. But if say for example it's an all solid, then the trunk won't let you up. You'll just be whacking the wall and the wall will just knock you back down because you obviously you've put that there. So that's the thing to know, if chunks are already got all solids and you use a spring and you're thinking oh I can't get through this, you might want to manipulate the solids for so called chunks blocks or you may just want to change the chunks um, or create new chunks or whatever you would desire. So yeah, this is basically when we go through the level. These these are the um, from what are the defaults of uh, collision. Now, most likely, you're either going to edit these, um, you're either going to create your own solidity yourself, maybe because you're creating a new level from scratch, or you're importing something perhaps, and there's like certain slopes or new kind of tiles that you've set up and need to edit, you know, slash use them or whatnot. But um, unless you're really going to change a lot of stuff, I wouldn't like really edit them. Um, I would like based on what you what you have on the solidity. So let's go to the tile editor and let's go to solid select. So we have a we have a big range of solidity, and you must note that this obviously once you've edited stuff, this will save. So obviously your collision will change, and they're all using the same sort of. Um, solidity files for their um, for the each levels collision so that you've got to bear in mind but how to uh, determine what chunk what chunk or what block I should say I'll just turn it off by pressing Q so I remember W for the uh, solids on so you can see them Q just off okay so let me just grab this block for example now if we look here where my mouse is says so top solid we don't want to worry about this, this is just um, different directions so you can flip up, or I think I may have uh, mentioned that you can you know, flip them left and right or up or up, upside down and whatnot. Um, but we want to know, we want to look at this, top solid. Now if we click over, over up or down, we can switch between the solids. Like this is uh, the left and right. So if we go like that, and there it's yellow representing that. So now if you push left or you push right, uh, you know, you can't get through it, but you should be able to land it from the top. Um, and I don't know about the bottom, I think you can't land from the bottom, I'm not 100% sure, I think you can come up from the bottom as well. 
but uh, it's definitely for the left and right and if we go down again you've got all solid and again from every direction basically sonic will push it or you know you can't get through it because it's all solid completely from every direction and of course if you don't want any solid just just keep going and you'll have not solid so it's simple as that but of course we want solid because otherwise it's going to fall through the ground but um yeah that's basically how you know um but if you want to change the type of solid itself um like say for example there's a new block you've created it's a slope um but the slope that you that perhaps the collision or solid solidity has already give you it doesn't quite fit it it might be too big it might be too small it doesn't quite fit now what you can do is what i tend to find this help is go to solid slope first then go to show block now here you have the block obviously very very close to you but say for example let's choose something a little bit easier let's say we've got this now this is a slight slanted slope you know piece of grass here and obviously um, we want something that fits we want something that fits so remember we go to W and we've got this is FC here if we go up here and it says solid 14 all right so we click a solid oh so we've got solid here and it appears in the block so you can see what it would look like um, when choosing that block so I'll see we go down here go down here and if we look here we've got um, solid ID 14 click that and it would change but obviously it's already 14 so we have no problem you can just pick and choose whatever would fit your block and then remember to click on the solid itself otherwise it won't accept it and then the number will go to it and then there you have it you have your solid and then obviously you have to paste it and then normally if it's a new chunk you have to go through it to make it a solid otherwise it will just be a no solid by by default and like I say you have plenty of different solids here so you can have a good old look, good old look through and obviously this is definitely crucial when you're importing stuff because by default you won't have anything of course backgrounds you don't want them to be solid because they're backgrounds but FG you know if you want them to be a uh, solid you have all the solidities here different, so many you can choose um, I mean obviously you have a blank one if you don't want anything there of course uh, and only manipulate the actual chunks. Uh, let me show you uh, an example of manipulating chunks. I'm on a black blank chunk, okay? So if we just click and we highlight there, I can see we've created slight solidity. I could go all the way around and just screw it up basically if I really wanted to. <laughs> um, okay, I've made an all solid block. I don't want one, but that's how we go about doing it. And if we go down, we can shrink it like so. So, have it like that, perhaps. Um, so, yeah, we've got different things like so, just to manipulate them. If I bring them down to a bit more level, uh, bring it up a bit, yeah, like that. And so, that's how you go about doing it. But of course, remember, this is a blank box. So, everything that, you know, if there was blank, it isn't blank. Now, of course, you've got these. But by default, this is the blank block, so to save you trouble, you might as well just leave this blank. That's partly the reason why I'd say not to edit them. But um, if you know what you're doing, and you're like you're going to edit like a big variety of uh, block, you know, solidities for your blocks and chunks, and you know like this may not affect like the other levels, which you'll be fine changing things up, then then go for it. But otherwise, I would say keep keep with what you've got. I would definitely recommend that keep what you've got. Um, that way, you say you won't damage other levels as well. So that, that's things. There's always something to note because um, you know when you're changing things, you've got to realise will this be changing other stuff as well on the other levels, or is this Green Hill Zone exclusive? Is this Marble Zone exclusive? Is this Spring Y Zone exclusive? You've got to realise um, that everything has to be backed up and checked because it's very important. And like I say, definitely recommended. Collision is a must for when importing stuff. And it's definitely a thing to note when uh, you're creating new chunks yourself out of new blocks. Out of the blocks you've got, you want to just create, you know, chunks and whatnot. And like I say, you can make things solid that aren't solid now, or were solid and not solid and whatnot. So it's definitely something to note. 
and it's uh, very important. Other than that, um, I won't be coming back to this hopefully, um, most likely until the uh, tips where I'll be going over briefly about importing um, and just general tips about art and the things I, I tend to do with my art. But now we're going to move over to Objects Art, so I'll see you then guys.